This is tutorial number 21, and it covers how to use the Translate Sketch feature within Katia V5. To start off, open up a new Katia V5 part, and once you've done that, let's go into the Sketch Workbench. So click Sketch, and click any of the planes. So in this tutorial, we're going to be using the Translate feature, and it's this button right here. This is the Translate, and you can also find it if you go to Insert, Operation, Transformation, Translate. So what this is going to do is from an original sketch, we're able to move it around and we can even duplicate it and kind of make a pattern of it. Now, this is a really good tool if you have a intricate uh, profile or sketch that you have that, again, would take too much time to move to another position. You can just pick it, move it, and drop it somewhere else. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a couple examples of how to do this. So let's draw a circle right at the center point. And what we're going to do is we're going to translate and make a copy of it. So let's click on it and click translate. And right now it's in duplicate mode. You can toggle it on and off. And right now we're going to make one copy of it. So we'll click the center point and you can see that we can drag it and move it anywhere we want and we can just snap it and leave it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to snap it to this edge here. And now I've duplicated that circle. Now I'm going to press Ctrl Z, and we're going to do it again. So let's click Translate, and this time let's make 10 translations. Click the center point, and you can see that if I zoom out, you can see that I have 10 translations. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snap it to the edge like the last time. Now let's press Ctrl Z again. Now this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a profile. I'm just going to draw one over here. Again, this would be a profile that you wouldn't want to redo. So what you'd want to do is just translate it. So we're going to click Translate. We're going to uncheck Duplicate. And we're just going to move it over. So click on this point or any point, And then you're able just to translate and move it over. So let's move it up here. Sketch moves there. We can do it again. We'll translate it from this point here and we can pull it over here. Now let's put this point onto the center point. So we'll click Translate, click this point, and snap it to the center point. So you're able to have points all over that you can translate and snap your sketch and move it to that position. So again, this is a very powerful tool as it lets you duplicate your sketches and allows you to translate them. And these are uh, time savers as it would take you too long to redo your sketch and dimension it and put in that position. With Translate, you can just grab it, duplicate it, or move it to that position. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the Translate Sketch feature within Katia V5.